Jones, watch out. Today's still January 22nd. Today's January 22nd. Yes, it's January 22nd. Fourth real love for today, and I'm awake, man. Usually, get every, every five you know, vlogs or whatever. I tend to fall asleep because there's a lot of stuff I'm doing in my day. Um, needed to stay awake because I needed to get these vlogs done. Uh, time right now is 6 o'clock. I had my melon, got a little bit of energy thrown in my body, just feeling a little bit tired and stuff. Once I get these done, you know, I should be having them up by maybe my 9 or 10. Pouts out to you guys at least by that time. These guys got to just bear with me and it'll be up there. And I don't really know what I'm going to say today or now, right now. What I'm going to say right now. I am plumb out of ideas right now. Um, I think I was talking about making this food and that food and somebody's made this food and that food and I don't know. I, I, you can even also talk about rice. You know, slow cooking rice with the uh, chicken flavor or the beef flavor gets sucked into the rice. Um, I did steak kebabs, um, uh, f uh, fast fry, no, or, or fast fry steak and fish fry, uh, stuff like that, yeah. And I also like veggie burgers or, you know, um, fiber burgers, uh, stuff like that. Made my own kind of chicken, uh, chicken burger, you know, that was kind of difficult because I had to grind that stuff down. I had my like little not not grinder, but you know, a, a, a like a cheese grater, cheese grated down, and then mush it up into a thing, and then put it into like a dough, nice thin dough. And the idea was, I don't think it would really work out too good the way I did it. So I cooked it, cooked the chicken, then I put it in the dough and baked the chicken, and then I did add a little bit of spices. So <coughs> <coughs> Other than that, I don't know what else to talk about. Just, you know, a little bit of food ideas that I've done in my life. So many different things in my life. Um, um, cream mushroom, I've done that. Cream celery, I've done that. Um, cream of broccoli, I've done that. I made veggie trays. Cheese trays, meat trays. Um... Spaghetti, spaghetti dogs, you know, the little, um, well, that's something, to, take your hot dog, you cut it into chunks, and they're like maybe half inch, two inch thick, take your raw spaghetti noodles, poke it through the, uh, the hot dog, and you could do four strands, five strands, six strands, I think it's between five and seven strands of spaghetti is kind of pushing it, you take all those there, you throw it in the pot and boil it. You boil the hot dog and the noodles and, you know, it's stuck inside the hot dog. And that gives you a little meat flavor for the, uh, the hot dog and spaghetti, okay, uh, spaghetti with sauce and hot dog, you know, I, can't, I forget what it was called. But the kids I used to make it for, they loved that. They loved the grilled cheese too, because it was time to, to make the grilled cheese and some of them like like a little bit light buttered bread, and some of them like extra uh, buttered bread, you know, for the grilled cheese, and some of them like single cheese and double cheese and triple cheese. But as I got older, you know, being on my own stuff, not having any butter, and you know, I just said decided to take that bread and you know make my grilled cheese, and without the butter in. The bread, it browns just the same as anything else. You just don't have that extra grease. So, other than that, I don't know. I mean, I've cooked rabbit before too. Rabbit was good, tastes like chicken. Um, I've had to, you know, I actually, I helped cook a pig roast, an actual full pig. That was my 19th, 20th birthday or something like that. Surely after that, I'm moving to off to reserve. But anyway, that cooked for uh, I think I think it took like 12 to 16 hours or something to cook. And we cooked it you now overnight, and then be ready for a party the next day. And we cooked and cooked and cooked that thing, and 
man, that that pig was delicious. And we had like we had more than half left over because a lot of people didn't come. A lot of people were going to other places and doing other things, and and we cut them just chunks of the of uh, pig. And we had you know bacon and ham or just, like just pig meat, like so much of it. My dad decided to take the pig head and throw it in the freezer too, to scare people away from you know digging in his freezer. And then there's some person who was always like, like, oh, do you have anything to eat? I'm hungry. I, I haven't really ate anything. And like, I'm, I'm diabetic. I'm really hungry. So my dad decides to cut off an ear off that pig, put it in the sandwich. Like he fried it up and put it in the sandwich. The guy and the guy ate it. He goes, oh, that was good. He goes, you got any more of that? So he cuts off another ear, fries it up, gives it to the guy. He goes, oh, thank you. That was that tasted so good. Next time the guy come around and he, uh, I guess he got the snout and the tongue. I said, okay. But the only thing is we didn't crack open the skull of the the pig. And we should have, you know. We, we ended up, you know, throwing the pig head to the dogs and but a lot of the meat ended up going to the dogs because we had a we had a, a like a like a big Tupperware bin just full of this meat. And we have you know bring it to different people that didn't really have much to eat and you know, just help them on stuff and with our bumpy laneway and stuff, that that meat was like all over the damn truck truck bed, and so we ended up having to sweep it out to dogs and stuff. The dogs got a lot of good, you know, good snack and, and you know, fed well. But we had so much of it. That was such a giant pig. It was I, I I've never had so much ham, bacon, whatever you're gonna call it, pig meat. In the you know the five to ten days I've ever had it, I mean it's like, wow. It's a lot. You know, you figured you know there'd be a lot of people. There's supposed to be like maybe uh, maybe after 20 people, 20 maybe. I think we were expecting maybe 30. Got a bunch of beer, you know, alcohol, uh, the pig, you know, all the little fixings, the the uh, little big tent things with the picnic tables underneath, and luckily about maybe 10 people came. So we had a lot of pig left over. Now that was really good. That was that was good. Um, I don't know, I'm not too sure what else I've cooked in my life. I mean, I cooked a lot of different stuff. And this is like my recipes or, you know, uh, the baked stuff. And even now uh, making, or uh, making, uh, getting a, uh, pizza from the store and then realizing there's no cheese on it. So I grate my own cheese on it and bake it and it tastes as normal as like any kind of cheese or any kind of pizza you get from the fast food place. So that was a plus on that. Other than that, um, I'm not too sure what else I did. What else, what else did I do? Baking, and cooking, and stuff like that. Different uh, blends of juices and those packaged things. And sandwiches, okay, sandwiches. Oh, I made all kinds of different sandwiches. Tons of different kinds of styles of sandwich, and I even did the sandwiches where you like like ones like uh, like tuna or ham or turkey or chicken. Uh, what else was there? Oh, egg, peanut butter, any kind of those sandwiches, making the random sandwiches, and a lot of the ones I did the little bit of the, the dipping of the food coloring too, like a tad a bit of it. And then you give these these sandwich, uh, you know, sandwiches with a little bit of color for kids. Oh yeah, also bologna and mock chicken and uh, ham and uh, what's that one called? Like it's like a pepperoni, I think. It's like a pepperoni loaf or something like that. And there's also the mock, uh, not mock chicken, the um, macaroni and cheese loaf. Um, there there was like different kind of meats and stuff like that and. Uh, th that was the time I did the veggie trays and the fruit trays and the little rolled up meats because babies like the rolled up meats and you know eat like a hot dog. And then you know a lot of the other dishes like uh, mashed potatoes salad with egg or without egg or with onions without onions. Um, macaroni salad, you know the tuna macaroni salad or the salmon macaroni salad or the ham macaroni salad. The different salads, salads, salads. Uh, did my you know, chance at coleslaw and you know, making home home coleslaws. 
Yeah, it was okay. It was, it was okay, yeah. And don't just stuff like that. And you know, well, also the scone things. You can't forget about that. Like little scones. And little scone biscuits, individual thing. You can throw some ham in there and stuff or bologna or whatever you want. You have that choice. And I, I did a lot of different things in my life. A lot, a lot of different foods. I mean, probably this side, this last segment and this segment is probably making you guys really hungry. Even made homemade pizza like from scratch to have done that. Um, not too sure what else. Not too sure what else. How that noise is. Anyway, um. different stuff in my life. Oh, cabbage rolls. Oh, cabbage rolls was good. That's delicious. Cabbage rolls. So, I don't know. I don't know. What else? Cabbage rolls. Oh, uh, stuffed shells, like uh, spaghetti or uh, noodle shells. Did the stuff that and cream cheese and cottage cheese and stuff like that. I didn't forget what it was. Um, I don't know, I haven't made my share of different stuff in my life anyway. Don't know what else. Different kind of foods anyway. Different foods and this one here. Watermelon, sliced watermelon, and mangoes. And, I don't know. I really don't know. I know I had my share of different foods in my life and different ways and people did different recipes and uh, different restaurants and fast food places and I had tasted anything and everything and I came to a point in my life where you know I've tasted just about anything and everything in different ways and styles and stuff. I don't have to always have that food. I'm not letting food you know, run my life. Like turkey is delicious, I don't have to always have it. Ham is delicious, I don't always have to have it. Like meat in general, I don't always have to have it. But I mean, if I do, then it's like, you know, little bits, uh, you know, like not a lot, and you know, a little bit here and there, not like a big sitting of stuff. Kind of like a, uh, what do you call it, all you can eat restaurant? I mean, that's once in the blue, I mean, that's once a year. And I could, I mean, back when I was, you know, I had a lot of weight on me, I could do six normal plates. Or three heaping plates. Now I'm lucky to do maybe a, a heaping plate, and that's about it. Not really worth the uh, twelve to twenty-two dollars these days. It's like you can have your own little eat off when you go home or something. I don't know. I don't know what that noise is. So, anyways, other than that, I am right at the end of this video, and I'm just going to wrap this up. So if you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. And share this video on the channel my benefit and benefit me. Please do tell your friend and family about me. Thank you for this video time you guys watched it. Hope you all have nice days, good night. And remember to be aboriginal, then original.